good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, I want to know what this means. Maybe somebody know, because I can't figure it out. First of all, Congress finds substantial evidence George Santos related um, violated ethics and several, and he committed crimes, including fraud and used campaign funds for personal use in damning ethics report, right? And this article comes from the Daily Mail. And they said, now this is what I don't get. It says Santos would not run for re-election, but is not resigning. Well, what the heck is he doing? Another vote to oust him from Congress expected after Thanksgiving. <laughs> this dude is a straight bona fide kook. He's he's a nutcase. Okay, so Congress has found Republican representative uh, Representative George Santos used campaign funds. Mon campaign money and donations to fund lavish lifestyle, engaged in fraud, filed false election reports, and willfully violated ethics. Bombshell findings on the long-awaited House Ethics Committee report released on Thursday show the so-called Long Island liar <laughs> stole from his campaign Spent thousands of dollars on Hermes handbags, designer goods, Botox, vacations, OnlyFans, and Sephora makeup. I, I can't make this stuff up. Um, <laughs> lawmakers on the committee unanimously voted to refer Santos to the Justice Department for further prosecution. <laughs> The panel concluded that there was substantial evidence that the GOP lawmaker who embellished almost all of his resume blatantly violated ethics and sought to fraudulently exploit every aspect of the House candidacy for his own personal profit. Sounds like a real good Republican, don't he? This is insane. The staggering report prompted Republican Ethics Committee Chair Michael Guest to file a new motion to expel Santos after a vote last month failed. A vote on the new resolution will take place after Thanksgiving. Santos responded by announcing on Thursday morning that he would not be running for Congress again in 2024. He tore into the biased report and accused the Ethics Committee of going to extraordinary lengths to smear myself and my legal team. Isn't that interesting? I never heard of that in all my years. Now whenever Republicans or whoever, you know, whenever they lose, when, it's, when they win, everything is all good. But when they lose, somebody is exploiting them, somebody is cheating them, somebody is mistreating them. These people come, they write, write for the mental house, ain't they? Anyway, uh, the bipartisan committee stated in its report, committee stated in its report, Representative Santos sought to fraudulently exploit Every aspect of this his house candidacy for his own financial profit. He blatantly stole from his campaign. He deceived donors into providing what they thought were contributions to his campaign, but were in fact payments for his personal benefit. Mm. In the stunning dossier also states 
that the congressman reported fake loans to his political committees so that donors and party committees would want to make further contributions to him. <laughs> it was found that Santos deceived people into donating to Redstone Strategies in which 2022 was listed as a committee dedicated to supporting his candidacy and then transferred those funds to his personal account using the money on Sephora, OnlyFans, and a 4000 purchase at Hermes. He, it also found that he spent campaign funds on Botox treatments and lavish Atlantic City trips with his husband. Representative Santos continues to flout his statutory financial disclosure obligations and has failed to correct countless of errors and omissions, the committee said. Ain't this a trip? So he's just a straight-up crook. Mm -mm. I'm done with this story. Another 20000 transferred from campaign to his company, Devolder, whose account had a negative balance at the time. And from there, money was used to make $6,000 worth of purchase at Ferragamo, withdraw $800 in cash at a casino, withdraw another thousand dollars in cash near his apartment and to pay his rent y'all hear me and anyway I, i'm it, it's so egregious i want to know what y'all think y'all think he should resign you think they should tell us what the hell's happened to him after he said he's not going he's not going to run for 2024 but he didn't say he was going to resign what in Sam's tarnation does that mean? Anyway, tell me what y'all think. The ethics panel find this dude is just out of control. Paying for Botox and every damn thing. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.